going to keep right now are Charmander, Pikachu, and Nido Keaton. Not super. Though I guess um bringing along Pikachu is probably also good. I would like to see what this magic bird can do. Very over here. Blue bear. I wonder if um Thus I don't actually know if you're still here, but I wonder if uh you've thought of implementing other berry types. Like, uh poison cure berries, paralyzed cure berries. There are a bunch of those. I'm sure it would be a bunch of work. Not sure if that would even be worth it compared to the other stuff you might be wanting to implement. I think from from what I've heard online, people would probably rather have Crobat before the rest. <laughs> people really want Crobat. Take this fight on. Let's see how this goes. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Oh, you know, I almost forgot. I told myself I was going to take. Oh, uh, other berries, maybe eventually. Yeah. Oh, very cool. That would be pretty neat. I think, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely would be interested to see. Yeah, I know, I know, um, Crobat first, so never. Ah, that's pretty funny. Pretty funny. It's, uh, this is, this is everything I wanted Pokemon Conquest to be, in all honesty. If Pokemon Conquest was good, but I felt like it was just imitating so hard. It was imitating so many things. I could have done so many things so much more uniquely. Like, the AoE system alone is really interesting. I feel like a lot of games could learn from that. Well, the Weedle is the threat. And... I want to level up Nidoran, so let's bust it. Punch it with Nidoran. Okay, we can get a level up somewhere else. I guess we choose preferable. Nice. Lots of magic on this Pikachu. You'll know who made it. Ah, yeah. I, I'd be very interested to see it implemented in, like, a uh, more traditional Fire Emblem ROM hacks, too. I think it's a really interesting piece of intellectual property you've got there with that AoE system. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's definitely inspired off of a lot of things, but that aspect of this game is very cool. I haven't seen that elsewhere. definitely hope to see that, like, in more things. That'd be very cool. 
Oh, you know, I told myself I was going to take a brief break after I beat Brock, and I forgot. Just having too much fun. Um, let me take a quick, uh, quick focus break. Stay on track. Uh, don't want to get too distractible. Forget to keep talking. So I, I'll be right back.
doing that. <clears throat> I need to label those better. Oh, one moment. Let's see. So, progress very far through this area. So, something that I noticed before that if we have a flyer, some of these areas we can kind of skip. Um, don't really want to skip through them though, because we need experience and we need money. Nothing else complete has it. Well. <clears throat> I definitely, if I hear about a ROM hack that is using it, that will make me want to play it. That was, that's a very interesting system. Let's use a fairy. Just trigger this fight on the very edge. We don't want to take two fights at once, so we're gonna wait. Polybag and an oddish. That shouldn't be too much. And just one shot of polywag. Likewise, there we go. We cannot one shot the cottage. Magic Burp gets some bulkiness. And is learning mud shot again. Guess I didn't need to buy mud shot. That feels like a bit of Sneak in a little XP there. Right? Uh, all of the... <clears throat> all the special attacks are basically like bows. Can't one range them. and two weedle. Take a knockout. I'd rather not. Do a bunch of damage. Try to put the knockout somewhere with the shit. That. Take some XP. Leaf Flurry or Thundershock works. 
That way we can position. Delusion. Get that check. There's a Jigglypuff. Gross. Mm. No. I don't think we want this. Has a very short range. <clears throat> I guess to ensure that you can hit this heal first. Okay, we might want to save that heal for during the fight. Let's save that heal. Fall down here. Eek, did you touch me? I promise I did not. Also, if you have to ask me. Okay, uh, side up. We'll do some damage here. We can get some chip in. Magnitude this. Get some more experience I need to run. Wait. More magic. Oh. This thing is honestly getting amazing magic levels. Surprisingly bulky. I think we need to need to buff it. Start with sand attack. Putting in for the night in about ten minutes. Okay. It's been good to have you here. Yeah. Glad that, uh, be here with us for the stream. Yeah. Thanks so much, Besley, the creator of this. Um, I guess if you want to, I don't know what the rules are for Twitch. Post in links in the chat. That might be disabled. Maybe you can't do that, but I'll find a way to provide a link to Discord. I think I'm allowed to do that. Um, We'll get them coming your way, hopefully, anybody that clicks on this. This is a um, very, very cool run. I think they could... I, uh, it's also pretty findable through Google, just for reference. So it's, uh, it's already got a Google footprint. String shot, maybe. Well, it will keep the shoot. Yes. That's it. We have triggered another fight. Oh, I didn't even read it. Who's Sandshrew? Fighting this jiggly pot. 
I mean, maybe if we see one as, like, a part of a boss fight. I don't know, I'm not that interested in mono-normal pinky Pokemon, though. It will become a part of the team. Perhaps I'm selling them short. If they don't. Let's just use guard. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely needed to guard that. Ouch. Very painful. Good level ups there for Psyduck so far. Give this to Nidoran. Huh? One. One. Okay, okay. Special, alright. Special attacking. See the next ring. See if we can't use this choke point to our advantage here. That look you gave me. It's so intriguing. Oddish, Hollywag, Firewater Grass. <coughs> right, so she is rocking the core right now. Hmm. How do we break that? That Poliwag is in kind of an inconvenient spot. Especially considering we have a Okay. We can do pretty good damage to this Vulpix bubble. That could allow us to knock it out, potentially with some kind of... Although, the damage is a bit of a lot. Not 70. Charmander do with Mud Shuffle. Similar. And damage. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we use Charmander against the Oddish. Psyduck against the Vulpix, because 
In this situation, Charmander is more flexible. It has coverage against the Vulpix and against the Oddish. Then we can Magnitude here. Down the Vulpix. Oh, it has a quick And then... That's this. Not take it down. For this, which may not take it down. Thanks. Uh, I think we need to thunder. That will just barely give us enough. Oh, I could have just killed the... Silly. But I think it's okay. I definitely could have just killed the polywag. That would have probably been better, but it works out. Works out anyway. Paragon. So that doubles our experience on one unit. One. It's permanent. You choose carefully. Still, I'm not sure who to use it. Shorts, what's wrong with you? And buy Paragon and sell it on for. Oh, <clears throat> that's surprisingly cheap for Paragon. I guess that makes sense. You're gonna have a lot of a lot of Pokemon. But no, a Paragon. Big counterattack, so this is double kick is not like a brave weapon. Um, just ensures that you get a second. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, want to some ember. Think that works? Take out one of the rats. Use it, guys. Oh. Nice, more magic for the magic bird. Too lazy to make some cost difference. Hey, fill that. Nice. Oh my gosh, quick attack. Wow. Ouch. Down, Dap you with the little person. Mm -hmm. um, wear shorts, even in winter. That's my policy. And there we go. Yeah, through.
Sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, here's the guy who will try to sell us a magic card. And this is how you say no to him. Hey there, have I got a deal for you? I'll let you up swell magic card for just $2,000. What do you say? No. What a waste of time. And then, if you go back in here, he will go away. Glad we wasted his time. Save. Right, and next we're going into the cave. And I think we're going to wind up coming right back out to make some changes. But, um, for now, let's drop this in here. We're going to save double hit for Magikarp. Oh, thanks! Yeah, I <clears throat> I think I definitely will. Um, I've been having some fun. Uh, I'll probably stream it again you know, in a few days. Clock it disappears when you enter Mount Moon. Ah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, good night. Yeah, good to have you here. I think uh, probably sometime next week. Or so, maybe sooner, depending on if I get the itch to play. Well, that's, uh, that's Wesley, everyone. Creator of Poke Emblem. What a guy. Good to have you here. This tile indicates that there is a, uh, a hidden item there. There is not, as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's an item finder that I don't know about. We could get a Zubat, but Zubat does not evolve into Crobat. But we don't want Zubat. We could also get more Zubat. Or possibly Zubat. Additionally, there's Zubat. Uh... Oh, there's a Geodude. This is what we're here for. Also, because we have to go through this. But primarily. So we need to make sure not to kill that Geodude. We also need to fight all these trains. Let's bring forward this, uh... Trainer forward. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Two metapods, a weevil, and a cat. Hmm. This looks very ember. Also very dust Is These are words I... Now there. Um... 
Metapy's gonna get some free damage, but that's okay. I don't think that's too much of an issue. Maybe we can knock out the uh, weak. No. Hmm. Not with bug bite. Nope. Like we can't quite get this weedle. Let's do AOE spring shot. <laughs> so that maybe we can double. Experience on the Nido. Good on levels on the main Pokemon so far. Tack is kind of okay, it's better than Tackle. Not lost. Water gun. play through, get through to the end of Mount Moon here, and then that's where we'll call it. Or maybe we get into Cerulean. Yeah, let's get to Cerulean, then we'll start the next stream, pushing up through Nugget Bridge, getting to uh, SSN and Misty. Maybe even do uh, Lieutenant Sir. How far things go. Got a Diglett. And we've got a G. Wait. Up a screenshot on them, just get a little bit of chip. Good. Let's mm. not. We hit ourselves with. Good. Get a little bit more chip here. Shot to take down the Geo group. We can use Leaf Flurry to take down. This is a great level for condition. I feel at home there. 550. 
best to deal with. Let's just bring them in one of them. This is a relatively long dungeon. I want to it. I forgot to change my attacks when I stepped up to defense, so we only did one damage there with it. Huh? Too bad as a flying turn. He's an absorb. Huh. Okay. Since it's using absorb, it can't counter at melee range. Quick attack it. Counter attack. Seems like we have incidentally triggered that. We could use a, um, <clears throat> could try to rescue. We'll be alright. That all kind of back. Let's see what happens. It goes straight to the left. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I Metapod, a caterpie. That's it. That's not too into. with our hit chances, and it gives us sometimes a chance to double. Flying attack. Probably better than Poison Stink. Could uh, bust this. Definitely an option. In fact, let's see how much that does. That's pretty reasonable. Doesn't take all of the KOs, but does a good amount of damage. Then can I? as an option. Hmm. 
It's a bit slow. But it does get us a KO for later on. What? Gotta get this thing evolved. Otherwise, we need to get our Charmander up to a Charmeleon. Get priorities. Skill luck. Not for those hit and crit rates. And uh, yeah, pick up the last knockout with our Psyduck here. Who's... Oh. That's really strong on Psyduck. that way. Is I don't I can do try to avoid fighting this guy. the suit. Something like that. <laughs> Probably ideal. We can zap this. So we can just zap the bat. Zap. Also choose to fight the guy. It is good XP and money. Yeah, fight the guy. We can just fight the guy on our own. Hard. Runs away. What? Don't sneak up on me. Full torque. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm not in range of this Subat. I thought I was. <laughs> but, uh, can't really even hurt it from this range. This let's uh Zubat. Geodude before we go into any. That, <clears throat> that is for sure. Hmm. These are pretty strong, if I remember right. They hurt. Let's, do, let's guard again. with magnet. That's not quite enough. Let's use Moonshot to slow him down. Mm 
Definitely coming in clutch there. My Pokemon won't do. Well, let's, uh, you know, I'm actually feeling quite tired myself. I'm gonna wanna turn in for the night soon. I'll grab that Geodude. I'll do a quick save. Pick up here, actually. It's like we've actually got a trainer between us and that. Let's take this trainer down. What after that? You know, a little dozy. Want to make sure we're doing good content. I don't have anyone with guard. Oh wait, I have my um. Girl, actually. One of the tickets. Almost one shot. Problem is, to get through this, you should do it. It means I have to do this. Shot works actually. Think of that. Magic bird coming in clutch. Magic bird beats rocks. As long as we get our hands on that sheet, we can always just run back to the entrance and save. We've made a lot of progress through here. No shame. Okay. Wow, shocked again. 75 bullets, pretty nice. Grow this and oh, good, it moves right towards us. As you can see, those don't always spawn. So, once we have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, three over here. We're just gonna sacrifice. Oh, that actually. Let's go there. Capture and flurry. Now we have Judy. Good. Judy okay. is pretty strong. Uh, you can see 50% strength growth and 70% defense growth. This thing is very bulky. <laughs> it's really slow, no magic, no resistance. Um, so you've got to be careful what you put it near. 
it can just sort of stonewall certain things. Oh, no fun. Well, I guess we have to fight the Zubat. Shock this. And we'll use Pidgey just to fly back to the entrance. Yeah. Actually, I think it will do it like a couple of times. Right? Go up here. of the cave. Much easier out. Drop a save. Okay, come on. It has been very fun. We played for a little over three hours here. Got Charmander, Pidgey, Drill, Nido, Pikachu, and Psyduck. Probably the Beedrill and the Psyduck are getting replaced here soon. Just picked up a go dude. We're gonna get some other good recruits too. So we'll be cycling out a lot of different mons, trying them all out. Seeing what we get. And we are playing on lunatic difficulty, so some of these are gonna be better than others, especially the offensive mons are gonna be the ones that we're wanting. Hunting goes down especially. I'm, spe I'm particularly excited for, the, for uh, Gyarados, which we will get eventually, but not soon. So, <laughs> it'd be good though. Till next time. Okay. Uh,